Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. And today, we're going to answer the age-old question, is Fred Minnick full of shit? Truth be told, I actually like Fred Minnick a lot. We get along great. We are pals. I am an American Spirits Council of Tasters judge, the ASCOT, which is the spirits competition created by Fred Minnick. I just titled the video that so that it would get clicks. Let's hope it works. But also, I want to find out if Fred Minnick's full of shit. If I were to answer the age-old question, is Fred Minnick full of shit, which way would I go about it? Hmm, let me think. Ooh, I got it. I'll review Boulder Spirits Cask Strength Bourbon Whiskey, which was Fred Minnick's number 10 whiskey of the year in 2022. Is this truly one of the best bourbons on the planet? Or did Fred Minnick cash a check the size of this planet? There's only one way to find out, and that's to review and score Boulder Spirits Cask Strength Bourbon. America. Boulder Spirits Straight Bourbon Whiskey Cask Strength. It's got a pictures of mountains on it, so you know they're aiming for the peak performance. Aged in number three char, 53 gallon white oak barrels, corn rye malted barley, Rocky Mountain Glacier Melt. It's got a picture of a still on there, so you know that it's real. It has a series of pictures on the label that tell a story of their process. I think that's called a pictogram. The closer you look at the label, the cooler the label is, to be fair. It has their latitude and longitude on the label, their coordinates, so that if you buy a bottle of this for $80 like I did, and it sucks, you know exactly where to go to tell them what for, to give them a little grief and demand your money back. The Spirit of Boulder, Colorado. Cask Strength Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Colorado's naturally arid climate and big temperature swings allow for access deep into oak. Our location has every bit to do with this 133.8 proof bourbon. That's a lot of damp. Our mash bill of 51% corn, 44% malted barley, and 5% rye is why our bourbon whiskey has such a soft approach and long, sultry finish. Please enjoy this whiskey however you like. We love adding a touch of water. Straight bourbon whiskey aged for five years. So it's a five-year-old age-dated bourbon. It has the very minimum amount of corn in the mash bill to make it a bourbon, and it has an exceptionally high amount of malted barley. Interesting mash bill, Boulder Spirits. Let's go in for a nosing and tasting and find out what all the fuss is about. Giving it a little bit of a swirl. All that malted barley needs to be extra dizzy before we put it in our nose and down our hizzy. Ooh. Hello. That smells way better than I expected. Wow. That is like a bouquet of fruit. If you sent somebody a fruit basket in the shape of a bouquet, that's like a cherry, strawberry, vanilla, drizzled milk chocolate ball of love and love making. Kind of reminds me of a Twin Bing candy bar. Shout out Iowa. If you dig extra deep on the nose, if you go extra deep and extra hard, you can kind of pick up a little bit of the malted barley, but not a lot. I expected it to be way more malt forward and less sweet, but no, this is one sweet, delicious smelling treat. Buffalo Trace isn't exactly the malted barley capital of the world when it comes to mash bills, but this smells a little bit like Buffalo Trace. There's really no young crafty notes coming off of the nose. A little bit more malted barley than a typical bourbon, but that's because that's what it's made out of. That's like if you smelled me, I would smell like Twinkies because that's what I'm made out of. Down the hatch. That was a much bigger sip than I anticipated. That is good. That is very good. That is, that is very good. Going into this tasting, I was fully expecting 
to get like a super craft heavy, farmy, grain forward, young tasting, kind of off-putting bourbon. I'm sorry. I'm super sorry. That's what I expected. That's kind of what I've come to expect from a lot of craft distilleries. Unfortunately for my prediction, but fortunately for my experience and Boulder Spirits, this first sip anyway, didn't give me anything off-putting. As a matter of fact, truth be told, it was pretty on-putting, which is the opposite of off-putting, if you're following along anyway. Second sip, let's dig a little deeper. Dang. That is delicious. That is delicious. This is a strange mix of chocolatey, fruity, and floral notes all in one. Some bourbons, especially craft bourbons, can get too florally, a little bit too floral-like. I'm not gonna name names, but Frey Ranch isn't exactly up my alley or anywhere near up my ass because the amount of just flower power packed into that son of a batch. But this is balancing floral, chocolate, fruit, and just like sweetness and spice all together and packaged all nice. What a solid bourbon. I think what I enjoy most about this is it's a little bit off profile from what you would typically get out of your standard Kentucky Straight Bourbon or Indiana Bourbon. The high amount of malted barley in the mash bill is kind of like twisting the flavor profile of that traditional bourbon a little bit while it still maintains the sweetness of having at least 51% corn. At five years old, number three char, cask strength, I can see why Fred was a bit head over heels for this because it is very delicious. I was expecting to hate this. Since I live in Colorado now, a lot of people ask me what my favorite Colorado whiskey is. And when I tell them that my favorite product out of Colorado is Tin Cup Tenure or Tin Cup Fourteener, I feel a bit sleazy and a bit dirty because that doesn't come from Colorado, it's sourced. It was purchased from Indiana and then, you know, aged here for a bit. Aged in Colorado for a bit. But it wasn't made in Colorado. This, I can honestly say now, without a shadow of a doubt, is my favorite Colorado whiskey. This is by far, hands down, my favorite Colorado whiskey. This is so good. I wonder if they do single barrels of this. I need to get on the phone and ask because geez louise, this is good. Does it taste like your traditional Kentucky bourbon? No, it's just different. It's a different style and a different profile, but that's not a bad thing. When you have shelves and shelves full of Kentucky bourbon, you kind of get accustomed to the same thing. So if you're looking for something different one night and you're like, ooh, I want something cask strength. I want something that's really gonna be a nice little sipper, but I want it to be a bit different. This is a great offering. Today, I'm gonna say that Boulder Spirit Straight Bourbon Whiskey Cask Strength, the Cask Strength offering, receives a score from me today of 8.0, oh, 8.0. It's a great bourbon. It's a great bourbon. If you like whiskeys with higher malted barley content, this is probably gonna be directly up your alley. If you're thinking about experimenting a little bit with malted barley, then I would say that this is definitely something that you should try, especially if you love cask strength bourbon. I really enjoy it. I'm glad I bought it. 80 bucks is what I paid for it. And I do not regret it. No regrets. No regrets. Anyway, thank you for watching. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. And like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on giving things a chance after somebody has told you that you should give them a chance. Would I ever have bought this at $80 had Fred Minnick not said it was very good? No, not unless I got that feedback from other people. Not unless others were like, hey, this is so good, you have to try it. And it would have to be people I trusted. But since Fred put it on his top 10 list for best whiskeys of 2022, I was like, I can at least make a video out of it, finding out whether or not Fred's full of shit. And guess what? This is super damn good. Super damn good. So maybe just try things, try new things. Go out of your comfort zone a little bit and spend a bunch of money on something you might hate. Like a vegan offering at your favorite restaurant. Don't do it, actually, don't do that. Anyway, thank you for watching. 
Thank you for hitting a thumbs up. Thank you for hitting subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And we'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.